This call may be monitored or recorded for quality assurance or training purposes. At this time, I don't have anything available. I don't have any of open trucks, and I probably won't until after the first of the year, kind of mid-January. Welcome back, drivers, to the Recruiter Call Channel. And in this MTC, we're going to be looking at... Do you guys accept SAP drivers? We typically have not. Our current insurance requirements are um, that they have to be out of the program for like five to seven years. How much experience do you guys require? At least 12 months of over the road. Drug screening, hair follicles, or urine, or both? Uh, just urine. What type of lanes do you guys run, and do you guys run Canada? We do not run Canada. The majority of our runs are Midwest South. Um, we do lots of, like, Texas, Georgia, Oklahoma, Arkansas, um, some Carolinas. Um, basically, like, 95% of our runs are right up and down the 35 corridor. Um, the other kind of 5% is we have been getting some uh, Salt Lake City, Utahs, some Colorados, and some Idahos. Mileage pay. Do you guys pay per mile or percentage? We pay per mile. How much? Uh, currently, it is 57 cents per mile. Is that regardless of the experience I may have? Typically, yeah. I mean, it kind of it kind of depends. For some of my guys that um, live in Minnesota in this area, we can kind of bump it up to like 58, 59. But typically, we kind of start everyone at 57 and then do raises after you guys have been here. How are the miles calculated? Is it zip to zip or practical? It's practical. As far as dispatches goes, would it come through the through the truck computer or would it come through my cell phone? Um, that typically goes through the Qualcomm. But do you guys offer any type of compensation for the cell phone usage? We do not, no. How many miles I can I can expect? I, I know you said you're not looking now, but yeah. what do you think what do you think the miles will look like next year? So tip well, hopefully good. If I was psychic and I could predict everything. But typically right now our drivers are averaging right around like 2,700 to 3,200 miles a week. Our kind of expectations, we like to see um, the uh, truck get at least around 9,500, 10,000 miles a month on the truck. Is the dispatch forced? Um, it is not. Um, I mean, I kind of always preface it as well. I mean, so you're assigned a fleet manager and... Um, you know, you kind of work with them on the areas that you like to run and, and things like that. Um, that being said, if there's options that we can give you, then your fleet manager would give them to you. If you need the miles and uh, you need to go somewhere and that's what we have, then sometimes that's just the way it works. If we have options to give you, we would try. I'd stay in Ohio. So how, oh, okay. would, how would my home time, would I be able to get home every week or how would my home time look like? So for Ohio, I typically say like 10 to 12 days out to three days home. You mentioned that you're looking for drivers that got at least a year. So you're not taking on new drivers. So you don't have no opportunities for training there or no? Unfortunately, no. Yeah, we need at least a year. What kind of equipment that I can drive and what are they governed at? Uh, all of our trucks are governed at 70. Um, the current equipment we are having, most likely would be open if there is a truck open, is um, we have 2022 uh, Kenworth 680s and um, we have 2023 Freightliner Cascadia. Do you guys have yeah. c cameras in the trucks? Uh, we have forward facing cameras. What about the benefits and when do they start? Yep. So we do offer like health insurance dental, vision, long-term, short-term disability, all that stuff. Um, health insurance starts the first of the month after uh, 60 days. A pet and rider policy, and how young can I bring my rider? Uh, riders need to be over the age of 18 or 18 plus. Um, we do offer um, pets. You are allowed to have pets in the in the truck. Um, it's kind of like an apartment deposit. So um, for, depending on the truck, but for like our newer ones, it is a $1,000 deposit, which is $100 a week. Um, and that is fully reimbursable side to leave. Do you guys have team op opportunities? Not really. We've had some like super solos, you know, kind of like a husband wife thing where, you know, one will drive the majority of the time that kind of takes it over, but nothing that would be like a full on team situation that we don't really have anything built up for that. What about lease opportunities? 
We do not have a lease purchase program. Any type of sign-on bonus? Um, we do not. So we um, do have what we call like a um, transition pay. Um, and so that's kind of just to like you get that paid um, on the first Friday upon dispatch after orientation. And then the following Friday just to kind of get that, um, you know, little edge of making over a company. Um, so that's currently $1,000 sign up. Transition pay is what we call it. So you'd be 500 the first week and then 500 the next week. And by that third week, then like your full-on paycheck would kick in. So let me circle back around to the uh, to the uh, SAP question. So just sure. so that so that we can make it clear that you guys don't accept SAP drivers, but y'all do accept them after the seventh year, right? Correct. Yeah, then insurance would look at them. Very good, ma'am. Thank you very much. I really, no really problem. appreciate the time. And you say what? Sometime in in January that uh, that you might be open yeah, to I, looking. Yeah, people I would. On? I would say mid January is kind of when where I would expect to maybe see some movement. Um, we have some newer trucks that are coming into that I have to swap some people out of their trucks and into that one. Um, and so I I would guess that's probably when we'd have some opening. Very good. I will definitely share this with my Facebook group. And and thank you very much. No problem. Thanks, Jerry. Thank you. Okay, bye. All right. There you have it, drivers. If any of these companies will work out for you, reach out to them and see what they can do for you. If these calls helped you out, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for the next MTC on the Recruiter Call channel. Who's next?